Have you ever wondered why some paintings like Paul Cezanne's The Card Players hold such an irresistible allure? Art, in its myriad forms, has the power to captivate, provoke thought, and stir deep emotions. It doesn't merely exist, it speaks, it expresses. It is a window into the artist's soul, a silent conversation between the creator and the viewer. In the enigmatic world of art, the allure often lies in the mystery. What was the artist thinking? What was their inspiration? What message are they trying to convey? The answers to these questions are often as complex and varied as the paintings themselves. Speaking of complexity and allure, one cannot overlook the work of the French post-impressionist master, Paul Cézanne. His paintings are a symphony of colors and forms, a meticulous exploration of the world as he saw it. And among his many masterpieces, The Card Players stands as a beacon of his artistic prowess. The Card Players is not merely a painting, it's a narrative frozen in time, a moment captured on canvas. The painting invites us into a quiet scene of two peasants engrossed in a game of cards. The simplicity of the subject matter belies the depth of the work. Cézanne's attention to detail, his use of color and form, and his unique artistic perspective come together to create a tableau that is both ordinary and extraordinary. But what is it about the card players that makes it so captivating? Is it the mastery of Cézanne's brushwork? The subtle play of light and shadow? The profound stillness that pervades the scene? Or perhaps it is the mystery behind the players themselves? Who are they? What are they thinking? What stories do their faces tell? As we delve deeper into the card players, we embark on a fascinating journey of discovery. We explore the world of Cézanne, his artistic vision, and the circumstances that led to the creation of this masterpiece. It's an exploration that reveals as much about the artist as it does about the art. Dive into the depths of the card players and discover its fascinating journey. Imagine the late 19th century, a time of change and innovation, a perfect setting for the birth of the card players. This era was one of rapid transformation and discovery. The Industrial Revolution was in full swing, and society was moving at a pace never seen before. Amidst this whirlwind of change, in the quiet town of Aix-en-Provence, a certain Paul Cézanne found his inspiration. Cézanne was not a stranger to the world of art. He had spent years honing his skills, developing his unique style, and pushing the boundaries of traditional painting. But the card players was to become something special, a masterpiece that would forever change the landscape of art. The initial spark for the card players came from a simple everyday scene, Cézanne was fascinated by the ordinary people of his hometown, their routines, their lives. He was particularly intrigued by the local peasants, whose weather-beaten faces and worn-out clothes told stories of a hard yet genuine life. In a local cafe he observed two men engrossed in a game of cards. Their intense focus, the silent communication, the unspoken tension, it all spoke volumes to Cézanne. He decided to capture this moment, this human interaction, on canvas. The painting began as a series of sketches, as Cézanne painstakingly studied every detail. He explored the men's expressions, their postures, even the texture of their clothes. He was not just painting a scene, he was capturing a slice of life, a snapshot of humanity. But Cézanne was not content with merely replicating reality. He wanted to delve deeper, to portray not just what he saw but what he felt. He began to experiment with form and color, straying from traditional techniques to create something truly unique. As the painting progressed, it took on a life of its own. The figures became more defined, the colors more vibrant. The ordinary scene was transformed into something extraordinary, a testament to Cézanne's genius. The card players began as a simple idea in the mind of a genius, only to evolve into something much more. Just like the strokes of a brush on a canvas, the card players evolved stroke by stroke, into a masterpiece. Paul Cézanne, the artist behind the series known as The Card Players, was a man of evolution. His style, just like his life, was a series of transformations, with each phase leaving an indelible mark on his work. As he moved from the dark hues of his early years towards a more impressionistic palette, his style became increasingly abstracted, with his unique approach to form and color paving the way for the birth of Cubism. The evolution of the Card Players series is a fascinating journey through the artistic growth of Cézanne. The first two paintings in the series, the largest ones, feature five figures, two card players, two onlookers, and a serving woman. However, as the series progressed, Cézanne simplified the composition, 
removing extraneous details until only the card players remained, their intense focus taking center stage. Cezanne's personal life and societal changes also played a significant role in the evolution of the card players. His father's death in 1886 led him to question the fleeting nature of life, a theme that permeated his work. The industrialization of France and the changing social landscape also influenced his choice of subjects. The card players, ordinary peasants, were a far cry from the grand historical figures often depicted in art at the time. Moreover, Cézanne's innovative use of multiple perspectives allowed him to capture the essence of the scene from different angles, giving the painting a sense of depth and dimensionality. His bold and deliberate brushstrokes, combined with his unique approach to color and composition, resulted in a painting that was both representative and abstract, a perfect blend of the traditional and the modern. The evolution of the card players mirrors the evolution of Cézanne himself, a testament to the profound connection between an artist and their work. The painting series tells the tale of an artist in flux, a man grappling with the changing world around him, and a painter pushing the boundaries of what art could be. The card players isn't just a painting, it's a snapshot of Cézanne's journey as an artist, a chronicle of his evolution. The card players wasn't just a painting, it was a ripple in the pond of the art world. This ripple would soon become a wave, influencing countless artists and helping to shape the course of modern art. The painting was groundbreaking in its time. Cézanne's use of color, form and perspective defied conventional norms. He was one of the first artists to truly break away from the traditional representation of reality, choosing instead to focus on the fundamental elements of shape, color and composition. This was a radical shift, and it challenged viewers to see art and the world around them in a new way. But the impact of the card players extended beyond its innovative approach to representation. The painting also introduced a new kind of subject matter, Cézanne chose to depict ordinary people engaged in an everyday activity, a departure from the grand historical scenes and idealized figures that dominated much of Western art. This focus on the everyday was a revelation. It opened up a whole new realm of possibilities for artists, allowing them to find beauty and significance in the most mundane of subjects. The ripple effect of the card players can be seen in the works of many artists who came after Cézanne, The painting's influence is evident in the works of Picasso, Matisse and Braque, among others. These artists took Cézanne's ideas and pushed them even further, leading to movements like Cubism and Fauvism. It's also worth noting that the card players continues to inspire artists today. From contemporary painters to digital artists, Cézanne's masterpiece is still a source of inspiration, a testament to its enduring power and relevance. In the end, the impact of the card players cannot be overstated. It was more than a painting. It was a catalyst that set off a chain reaction, transforming the landscape of art and paving the way for the modern era. From the canvas to the world, the card players changed the face of art forever. Fast forward to today, the card players continues to captivate art enthusiasts worldwide. This masterpiece, crafted by the steady hands of Paul Cézanne, holds a steadfast position in the art world, its allure undiminished by the passage of time. In the present-day art scene, the card players is much more than just an oil-on-canvas piece. It's a symbol of artistic evolution, a testament to Cézanne's unique perspective. Its value is immeasurable, not only in terms of its monetary worth, but also its influence on modern art. It's a cornerstone of post-impressionism, a stepping stone to cubism, and an inspiration for many contemporary artists. The painting's monetary value, while not its defining characteristic, is nonetheless staggering. One version of the card players was reportedly sold for over $250 million in 2011, making it one of the most expensive artworks ever sold. This astronomical figure speaks volumes about the painting's significance in the art market and its desirability among collectors. The Card Players has graced numerous exhibitions worldwide, its quiet intensity drawing crowds wherever it goes. Its versions have found homes in some of the most prestigious museums and collections, including the Courtauld Institute of Art in London, the Barnes Foundation in Philadelphia, and the Musée d'Orsay in Paris. Each version offers a slightly different take on the same subject, allowing viewers to appreciate Cézanne's experimentations with composition, color, and form. The painting's presence in these esteemed institutions ensures that it continues to be studied, analyzed and admired by countless individuals.
It's not just a static object hanging on a wall, it's a dynamic entity, engaging in a perpetual dialogue with viewers, artists and scholars. A testament to the enduring allure of art, the card players continues to enchant, challenge and inspire. As we delve deeper into its layers we find ourselves drawn into Cezanne's world, a world where ordinary card players become the subjects of extraordinary art. And in this world, we find an invitation to see, to think and to feel in ways that transcend the ordinary, in ways that only art can inspire. From a simple idea to a world-renowned masterpiece, the journey of the card players is truly fascinating. Born from the genius of Paul Cézanne, the piece evolved through his meticulous process, leaving a lasting impact on the world of art. Today, it continues to intrigue and inspire, its value ever increasing. The legacy of the card players is a testament to the enduring power of art, a power that continues to captivate, inspire and challenge us to this day.